Hello again. So at this point, hopefully you've figured out how much space you're actually going to have available to you. Um, what scale slash gauge you're going to work in. Um, what type of control system you're going with and just direct to the tracks or some fancy electronics, um, whether you're going to have sound units or smoke units. I say smoke units because it doesn't matter whether you are in using steam or diesel locomotives, they both produced soot and it's rather theatrical to have your railway producing the, that sort of thing. Now, when it comes to space, you're going to have to have some transitions when you figure out how you're going to start. Normally, you start with some sort of point where you can have a circuit of track and then you can have some transition here. I've got a stream and the, the tracks are going over both your layout should have some sort of end point where you've got a circuit of track and it'll probably be a loop which this section started off as and then it grew where it got connected to a second board with a focal theme and then we have that transition that I mentioned where the tracks go down to a thin area. When I say thin area, notice that the town is essentially a stretched out backdrop and the tracks go past it. The majority of the town stands away from the tracks because and that's in reality what towns are like. And then it's essentially twin tracks aside from sidings going beyond that point. Now I state you do these things in sections because you don't know what life is going to throw at you. You can build a section, but you don't want to forfeit it, forfeit it when you move somewhere. And so you just kind of like to pick it up as a module and take it to your new location because everything takes time and everything takes money. Your scenery costs you. There's no way around it. So if you build a section, build it once. Add, make a transition over to the new section, but keep it going. And always make it so that you can use the first section and then go into the next section and come back. Now, of course, your train's going along its sections of track and you want it to go different places. But something to consideration, consider is elevations and how to use them. And yes, the occasional wild animal changes the perception of an area. But different elevations give different perceptions to an area as well. And they present problems. When you've got escalations of height for your locomotives, 
they can't pull loads as high as they can on level grounds. But it gives you chances to produce different scenes on your layout, like washouts. But along with those changing elevations become dangers to your equipment. They are usually rudimentary and don't like changing elevations, angles of track, distortions in the track, and they can go over the sides of the mountains, shall we say, in which case you run the risk of damaging your equipment. So it would be advisable in some fashion to produce some sort of perhaps terrain to actually catch things as they fall over the edge. Just remember, whatever you go with, remember to have fun. Till next time, have a good one. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please hit that subscribe button.